Thank you and welcome back. I sure appreciate you for allowing me to be your teacher. I am glad that you all follow me because you choose to in your perfect reality and I follow you as well. You're laughing at me. She's laughing at me. Oh, she's rejecting me as her teacher. <laughs> I am the person giving her words at this moment that she will reject later. <laughs> there you have it. I want to tell you that you are, can you, can you, can you, can you, because my writing looks like graffiti and your writing looks like teachers. Can you write down your responding and you shouldn't. You're responding and you should not. You're responding and you should not. Thank you so much. That's just some really clever writing there. You're a, you're a, you're a handsome woman. That's what they said in the 1630s. Yes. 1630, they said you're a handsome woman. Outstanding. Thank you so much. You're responding and you should not. Now, you think I'm going to tell you some argument or something. Like, stop responding to these people. No. I'm on a higher vibration right now. You are responding to circumstances and you aren't supposed to do that. Circumstances are supposed to respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> you are responding to circumstances and you should not because circumstances are responding to you. Here's what that means. It means that you have lost control of your own power within. I'm going to be very specific here. Let me be very specific here. There's power in you. Greater is he who is in me who is in, who, than he who is in the world. One of the ancestors of that Christian writing did the best they could with what they had to tell you what I'm telling you today. And every religious text, every sacred text is doing the best they can to tell you what they understood. And it's your job to have the, the revelation of these texts revealed to you when you're at the proper vibration to receive. It was a very complex way of me saying that everybody is saying the same thing, but the truth is not being revealed to you because you're not ready for the truth. You don't vibrate that truth. And I was using sacred text as an example there. Here is an accurate depiction of this. That is exactly how she looks. She has a big head. Uh, her right leg is not attached. Oh, that's, well, that's her left leg. <laughs> Her left leg is not attached to her body. Her right leg is over attached to her body. Her, her left arm has a wiggle in it, and it's not attached. And then her right arm attaches all the way to the left side. This is exactly how Tempest looks. You can give it here. I'll take a picture so she can see it. Can you say she zoomed in? This is exactly. Oh, and then her her cranium has a bang in it. <laughs> so she doesn't need hair. Her cranium forms its own bang. This is exactly what Tempest looks like. For those of you listening just in audio, I drew a stick figure on the board. Okay, it's just a stick figure. This is an accurate depiction of Tempest. Now, from Tempest, I would draw an arrow to the right, okay? This is how Tempest is supposed to live her life at all times. She is supposed to push power. 
Rewind, press play. Tempest is source. Is this correct? Yes. She is an extension of source. And source does not receive power. Let's take for a moment a plug in the wall. Can everyone in your respective country identify the plug that you have in the wall that has electricity coming from it? I now need to charge my smartphone. Can I put my smartphone next to the plug? Without a charger. No. no. Um, we're the plug. Well, are we the plug? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Let's use the Christian experience to attempt to... Let me, let me use the Christian experience for a second. So you all can see what the writers were attempting to try to get you to figure out between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If the iPhone is with you always, if the iPhone is, you understand, the, the thing that died for you, and the father is the plug. Let's, let's, so here is the plug. It's a happy plug. And here is the iPhone. Ring. Okay, there is the iPhone. And now you're missing the plug. It's a little USB thing there. Okay, you're missing the plug. Father, son, and the giver of life would be the plug. This, 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 this isn't a Christian conversation. I just understand your background. And I'm telling you, the giver of life would be that charger. Because once you release yourself from the plug source or whatever you're using. So That's right. So when you disconnect the spirit from the father, you then lose power to the phone but the phone will last for a long time until it drains you understand this is how y'all live life you live life as a depleting phone because you are consistently disconnecting from source okay yes so what if you, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about a while back. What if you are always surrounded by source? The, all right. So if you're always surrounded by source, you're tippus with the arrow going to the right. So here at the top of the board is a depiction of always surrounded by source. Why? Because there is no indication here, as I have illustrated, that tippus is disconnected. So she's pushing power. Therefore, any circumstance that's out here responds to Tempest. Watch it. This, Tempest says, circumstance, behave this way. That's how it's supposed to work. Now, got you. I'm, I'm fit up. I'm, let me just. Do this here to me. Race the phone now. Here's how y'all live your life. The opposite way. Your tempest with even messed up arms. And you let the circumstance tell you how to react. Look at it. If you're just audible only, two stick figures sitting on top of each other. One stick figure, in fact, I'll put this, one stick figure 
has the arrow going to the right, so the letter X with two underlines on it, that is when you are controlling your life. You're saying, I have the power, circumstance, bow to me, defeat, be defeated. I decree and declare. I know that I have a definite purpose and a burning desire, and I decided this is what I want. And no matter what you look like, you will look like you are serving me because I will have it no other way. The opposite, I don't even need to explain because you live it every day. The opposite is, ooh, Bill Collector just called. Bill Collector now determine how you respond in your body. Your armpits start sweating, don't they? A bill collector not in the same room with you controls the chemical reaction in your body. My friend just died. That circumstance, that's not, are you dead? But it is controlling your life. He just hurt me. And you let that hurt come back and respond, make you respond to it. Yes. Yes. Your job is not to respond to nothing. Everything is supposed to respond to you. This is why you see people like me. How many? This is why you see people like me or people who are master creators and they go, man, how do you stay calm all the time? Because I'm not about this situation. This situation will bow. It will be defeated. When? I don't know and I don't care because it's already defeated because that's the previous lesson. It's already yours. It's already defeated. It will do what I tell it to do or it will fade away out my reality. But it has no power here. You're like Gandalf, you shall not pass. Lord of the Rings, part two. Yeah. Part two, Lord of the Rings. Now, you understand? This is, but how are you living your life? So let's simplify this. My friends, how many times in the week, let's just go back seven days, how many times in a week did you let something outside of you determine the response inside of you? Every day. Don't, I don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not saying that I can go 100% of a year doing this, but I'll go 99% of it. Got you. How many times in a week did you let something outside of you determine how you responded inside of you? But that's what you do. You get your card note. And ah, oh, how many, how many, uh, here's a perfect way to here's a, explain this. How many of you right now are scared to check your account balance? <laughs> so it's literally, it's these little secret things. That happened. That you go to the ATM and say you want to check back. Ooh, no, real quick. And then you hurry up and you say no receipt because you don't want to see the receipt either. No, and then you hurry up and get the money with try that and you cover the screen. I don't even want to see. You better not even show me. God dog, it showed me. Okay, so what's frustrating is money's coming in, but I know it's coming out, and that is determining his internal response. Get it? I'm not saying it's not respectable. I'm just saying it's not sourceable. Is everybody right following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How many times have you had a boss or a coworker or a loved one make you have an internal reaction that was not worthy of you? Too many times. <laughs> he he, 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 he opened the whole door. Let me go ahead and get out of here. Yeah. Too many times. You're responding and you should not. You should be still. Joy. Because the earth and the forwardness thereof is supposed to respond to you. Antonio T. Smith Jr. You can't plan better. You can't dominate.